What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another bang 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 DD bang 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 in episode of Silly Strategics. And on today's episode, we're going to be doing the 5000 5K update review of the Staccato C2. That is today's episode. <laughs> man jumping right into it man so let's talk about it man i got this Takato c2 have it for multiple months now i mean it seems like i had this bad boy forever man i shoot it every chance i get and today i'm going to be giving you guys my 5k update what i think about it if, if my feelings changed about the staccato we all know the positives that the staccatos have so any negatives that i found any quote unquote negatives which is highly subjective and I'm going to be talking about it, man. But right off the top, a lot of people, a lot of people ask me right off the top, what holster do I run for the staccato? That's the question I get asked like on a regular basis. Anytime I post any pictures online, people always ask me, what holster do you run? What holster do you run? What holster do you run? Staff aren't. And so here it is, man. This is one of my all-time favorite holsters. This is one of them. This is the second one. If you guys haven't, or if you guys don't know already, man, Mechanitech, man, Mechanitech, 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 the Mechanitech Flex, man. This is my favorite concealed carry holster. As you can see, it's an appendix carry holster with a sidecar, you know, mag, extra mag holster. One of the main reasons why I like the Mechanitech is that it fits my Glock pistols, my Glock 19, Glock 23 pistols, and it fits my shadow systems. It all fits into place, man. No issues, you can see snaps in a place. And just to prove that point, give me one sec. Here's my shadow systems. And it fits in there, man. So, it fits in there, man. No issues at all. But you guys always ask me, I didn't have to buy a complete new holster from my Staccato because the Mechanitech, for some reason, it fits both my Glock 19s, my Glock 23s, my shadow system, and my Staccato. So, man, I got lucky, man. I didn't have to buy a new holster. All right, so let's jump right into this review. One more look at the holsters. Mechanitech, man. Check out Mechanitech, man. Awesome holsters. Super quality, quality, quality holsters. I love these things, man. But let's put these off to the side. And let's talk about what we're here to see. The Staccato C2, man. Go ahead and empty this. It's empty. All right, man. The Staccato C2. So, what can I say? So far, I've been very, very, very impressed with the Staccato C2. People ask me, are the Staccato pistols worth the money? And honestly, I really think they are. Do you need a Staccato? No, you don't need a Staccato. Honestly, I keep saying this. And I don't want people to think just because I have a Staccato that no other gun, that I think that no other gun is worthy. There's a lot of the other worthy guns out there. There's a lot of guns that are pretty competitive and a lot less expensive. We're not getting into that. Right now, we're talking about the Staccato C2. Do I think the Staccato C2 is worth it? Yes, I believe the Staccato C2 is worth every penny, man. If you go out and you get your Staccato, it, it's, it's just going to run. The reliability is just out of this world. The durability, the ergonomics. I mean, the Staccato is basically... <laughs> I know some people are going to get mad. I know the 2011, 1911 fans are going to get mad. You're going to get mad at me. But honestly, the Staccato, pistol, the Staccato C2 specifically... It's basically a souped up version of a Glock 19. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The Staccato is a souped up, the luxury version of the Glock 19. I mean, it's it weighs the same. You know, it's the same weight. It's almost it's almost the same. The measurements is almost the exact same. It weighs the same. Uh, it feels the same. And I mean, you you know you're shooting. The staccato, don't don't get me wrong. When I said it feels it, when, when I say that it feels the same, I'm not saying like how it shoots. What I'm saying that feels the same is just how the weight and you know the, just how it functions. It, it's almost like a Glock, but it's not a Glock. It's a staccato. It's a 2011. 
built off of the 1911 platforms and what I like most about the staccato is just the recoil the way how the trigger feels the trigger feels like super smooth the recoil is is damn near non-existent it, sh it shoots super flat the way you know the, the weight ratio of it you know what I'm saying how it shoots like how it feels in the hand the ergonomics of the grip how it just feels like it just feels like it's just made to shoot like you know what I'm saying it feels like a shooter's pistol but I, r I really 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 love this pistol man I love every bit of it I love every inch of it um 5,000 rounds man 5,000 rounds and zero 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 issues I have yet to have any type of malfunctions any type of failure to feel feeds any double feeds no type of ejection issues failure to eject I haven't had any issues at all zero issues and I pushed a lot of different type of ammo through this pistol and to this date zero issues man zero malfunctions with it man so this thing eats up everything that I throw at it man everything that I throw at this staccato pistol it eats it up like you know what I'm saying it's like hey give me more give me more rounds man that's all you got 5,000 rounds and zero issues man I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna make a very very bold statement and the statement that I'm gonna make is I honestly think the staccato C2 specifically is the ultimate carry pistol and what I mean by that is if you want a gun for everyday carry personal defense self-defense this is the pistol right here if you need a gun for duty like a duty type pistol this is a gun right here if you need a gun to go to the range just to shoot have fun practice train this is the gun right here if you need a gun for competition this is the gun right here so this is like the ultimate, the ultimate pistol if you ask me because it's not too big, you know what I'm saying, and it's not too small. It's like the perfect size to do everything that I needed to do. This pistol doubles as my duty pistol. This is my daily duty pistol and it also doubles as my personal protection self-defense pistol, home defense pistol. It also doubles as my range pistol. It also doubles as my competition pistol. I haven't now, mind you, I haven't done any competitions with it yet. But I am planning on doing competitions in the future. I just got so much stuff going on right now. I got to figure some stuff out in my life. You know what I'm saying? Then I'll start doing competitions. But this is going to be a competition pistol. Whatever competition bracket it falls in, I'm going to use it for that competition. So this is the ultimate, the ultimate pistol, if you ask me. I mean, it does everything that I needed to do. It had, like I said, it has yet to fail on any ammunition I put through it. It has yet to to not function and not do what I want it to do. So this is just the ultimate pistol for me. And one of the greatest things I like about the staccato pistols is not only is it a shooter's pistol, not only is it comfortable to shoot, not only is it fun to shoot, but it's super accurate. It is super duper accurate. All right, I'm going to try to hit that 100 yarder out there, man. I think it's still up. I can't even tell. I can barely see it because of the sun. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, that's it. I don't need to do any more. I, right? I don't need to do any more. That's I'm it. I'm done. <laughs> from the far. Because I, I zoomed in as much as possible. I can easily shoot a, a hundred yards easy <laughs> you know what I'm saying I hit hundred yard targets under regular mind you I'm not gonna sit here and say I've never missed that a hundred yards but for the most part I would say nine or eight out of ten of my hundred yard shots hit and if I miss it wasn't because it wasn't the guns fault that was user error if I miss at a hundred yards but when I actually do everything right I do all the basics I master the basics and I shoot this at 100 yards it hits the target easy <laughs> you know what I'm saying this thing this thing reach out to 100 yards easy effortlessly like you know what I'm saying like I said anytime I miss it wasn't the guns fault that was user error that was me I either you know what I'm saying 
I either jerked it, I breathed or something, you know, something. I did something wrong, but it wasn't the gun. When you do all the basics, when you master all the basics and you shoot this gun at 100 yards, you're going to hit the target every single time. Some of you guys are going to ask me, have I done any custom work to this gun? Have I customized the trigger? Did I add any stipple? Did I change anything out? And this gun, for the most part, is still a thousand percent stock. The only thing that I've added is a little bit of uh, this grip tape right here. So when I put my thumb down, you know, it has a little bit of grip because the metal, you know, is just, the, you know, it's just so slick and so slippery. So I just put a little bit of grip tape. So when I put my, when I put my thumb in the firing position, I, it, it, like it doesn't slide around. It doesn't move around. It stays where I need it to stay. And I added a Surefire TLR7. I mean, a Streamlight, my bad. A Streamlight TLR7A. And the Liverpool Delta Point Pro, and that's it. That's that's all I've added was literally just the optic, the light, and a little bit of grip tape for you know what I'm saying for my thumb so it will it don't slide or, and slide around. It's still stock. It still has uh, grip safety. That has never been that has never been any issues at all. I've had zero issues with the grip safety. So a lot of people like to get their grip safety pinned down because they say, oh, I don't like grip safety because whatever. But I've had zero issues shooting this. And I've done several qualifications. I've done several state qualifications with this with this pistol. And it had zero issues. I've never had any issues with the grip safety. I've never had any issues at all malfunction with any malfunctions, any type of anything wrong with the pistol. This thing just runs, man. Um, so after 5,000 rounds. How does this shoot? Do I feel the difference after 5,000 rounds? Yes. I feel like the slide, I feel like the slide is just a little bit more looser. It's a little bit more, you know, it's easier to rack the slide. It's, it's, it's a lot more loosened. It got loosened up, so it shoots better. It feels, it shoots even smoother than when I first got it. So, you know, the slide just, you know what I'm saying? It, it's just easy to manipulate the slide. You know what I'm saying? It's loose, like, you know, and it feels better. And when I say loose, I don't mean like it's loose in a bad way. I mean that it's loose that the slide just, the slide just moves, man. It moves and it just feels super smooth. And they say that it has a breaking period, but honestly, this thing has shot super smooth and flat right out the box the, from the first shot up until now. If anything, it feels like it got a little bit smoother. So, I don't know. Maybe it did have a breaking period. I don't know exactly when the breaking period because, like I said, it just feels good every single time I shoot it. So, I don't notice it a little that it shoots smoother. The only reason I know that it's smoother is because when I manipulate the slide right off the top, it just feels, it just moves back and, you know, it just moves back and forth super easy. Like I said, this thing is a beast. It's a Staccato C2. Worth it. If you're in the market to buy a Staccato you know what I'm saying? And you want the ultimate gun, the ultimate firearm to, to do everything that you need it to do. I highly, highly recommend that you look into the C2. Like I said, I use this for duty. This is my duty pistol that I use every single day for duty. I, I My life depends on this. This is also, as soon as I come home, I take it out of my duty holster and I put it in one of my, you know, concealed carry holsters and I conceal carry it. This gun, this gun works 24-7. You know what I'm saying? This firearm literally works 24/7 for me, and I'm not even, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm, I'm not even bullshit. I'm not even exaggerating. This thing literally is on duty 24/7 for me. So, I depend, I highly depend on on this pistol to to protect my life, or you know, protect to protect life in the need, in the event that I need to. So, I highly recommend a Staccato C2 main if you're in the market. Um, understand it comes with a, a little bit of a hefty price tag, you know. To 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 two thousand, anywhere from two thousand to two thousand eight hundred beans beans and potatoes is how much I seen these go for at different places. You know, if you catch one of these for two thousand beans and potatoes, you're good, man. Go ahead and scoop that up because two thousand five hundred beans and potatoes is normally the average range for the C2 is, is is where it runs. At least in my area, your area might be a little bit more, might be a little bit cheaper, but anywhere from two. 2k 2500 beans and potatoes that's how much you're gonna get it for man like i said man i'm gonna keep you guys updated i'm gonna try to keep track of the, the ammo count it probably might be a little bit more than 5k but i i know for a fact it's around that 5k mark and like i said zero issues it runs like a top zero issues with any ammunition i put through this i have zero issues not to saying that i have a lot of issues with my other pistols but i'm just saying for me personally zero issues with malfunctioning 
ejects, ejections, you know, double feeds, zero issues. Runs like butter and it's definitely my go-to. Like I said, if you're in the market for a staccato, man, save up, man. Save up, do what you got to do. And once you get your first staccato, you're going to want to buy another one and another one and another one and another one, man. So be careful, man. But anyways, man, think about the price. Think about what you're getting. And is it worth it? Yes, I think it's a thousand percent worth it. Just because a gun might be a lot of money, that don't mean that it's worth it. Because I know some guns that, you know, that's a little bit under this and, you know, it's they 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 thought it was gonna be like a staccato and i had people that hit me up and and i try to tell people hey you might want to not get that one you might want to just save up a couple you know three four five you know hundred beans of potatoes and just get the c2 man and you know they went ahead and they got that other brand and and you know, they start having issues and they realize it doesn't run like a staccato they have to replace this they're having problems and hey man save up your money and get your staccato. Don't get you one of the wannabe staccatos. Don't get you one of the wannabe. You know what I'm saying? Just get your save up and get your staccato, man. It's going to be worth it, man. And if you guys want to know anything about this pistol, man, that I haven't covered. Uh, like I said, if you want the actual detailed breakdown, go check out my staccato unboxing review. You know what I'm saying? It has, I broke down, it broke it down. That video is like 30 something minutes long, man. I broke down everything. I went over everything on the pistol. So if you guys want to know all the details, check that video out, man. This is just my 5K review, how I feel and what I think about the Staccato C2, man. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the negative, the negatives of the Staccato. I wrote them down because I didn't want to forget because like I said, I've been, I, I've been having to run this for a couple months and I wanted to make sure that I wrote it down and so I, I didn't forget anything let me see uh let me see let me see where they at okay negatives um if i mention it i don't necessarily mean that it happened but this is like when i say negative like these are potential negative that i can see with the pistol the um the only negative thing that i really saw with the staccato is just the fact that it's not a glock so it's a little bit harder to take down and take down is a little bit more complex and putting it back together I can take down the Glock pistol. I could take down my shadow systems blindfolded in the dark with no issues. And the staccato, I still have to, you know what I'm saying? I have to like, hey, I have to really take my time. Okay, so I put, all right, you know, and just the spring, like, you know what I'm saying? The, the spring, you know, I have an issue with the, the spring sometimes. I have to like really kind of fight it to get in there. I, I don't know what that is about. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but once you get it in there, it's in there. So... The takedown is one of the biggest negative that I get that I got from the staccato pistol so far. It's just it's a little bit more complicated. It's a little bit more complicated than the Glock 19. And the thing is, it takes down almost the exact same way as the Glock 19 or, or the Glocks in general. The takedown is almost the same, but there's just little things that you have to make sure that you know you have to line up certain things in order to push the pin and you know what I'm saying so it's almost the same but there's just a couple more things that's a little bit difficult and it's not that it's difficult it's just you kind of have to really kind of wiggle and play around with certain things especially the spring to put the spring back in you know because it's just it's just at a weird angle and everything but other than that the takedown is one of the biggest negatives that I got from this pistol which is not a really a big deal it's just me I just need to practice taking it down more and you know that's just what it is. Another negative that I would say, I guess that you would consider a negative from the staccato pistol is just, it's not a Glock. A Glock, you can just, you know what I'm saying, throw a little bit of lube in a Glock and run thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds through the Glock and it's still going to shoot. The staccato, because everything is a little bit more fine-tuned, the parts is a little bit more tight-fitting, you have to make sure it's lubed up you have to maintain it a little bit more than you would your glock pistols this isn't a glock so you have to take care of it after you shoot it i recommend you know breaking it down and cleaning it up and you know make sure you're lubing it and and i and i'm not saying that it won't shoot if it's dirty that's not what i'm saying it's gonna shoot but you're probably gonna start having malfunctions if you run it dirty staccatos are kind of bougie they don't they don't like to be dirty glocks like to be dirty glocks can shoot wet muddy dirty no lube covered in carbon glocks love that staccatos are not like that staccatos not a glock you know she has a little bit more class you know what i'm saying she's a little bit more classy so she likes to be wine and dine you know you gotta wine and dine your staccato so you gotta make sure you clean her up you know she don't like to be dirty you know so you want to make sure you keep it nice and wet nice and wet nice and wet you know what i'm saying fellas 
You gotta keep the staccato nice and wet. She functions a lot better when she's nice and wet. Yes? Yes. All right. Anyways, um, make sure you keep it lubed up, man. If you're on a range and you're gonna be running like the other day, I had a, to, a qualification that I had to run. It was literally all day, and I lubed her up about three times that day. I lubed her. I put a little bit of lube on it before we started shooting in the morning. I throw a little bit of lube in the after, in in the mid afternoon, and then right when we were about to do our final uh, qualifications, I just throw a little bit more lube on there, lube her up, and she ran no issues at all. I ran her dirty all day and she was running you know what I'm saying she was running all day as long as she's lubed up she's gonna run so just remember that it's not a Glock those are the only type of negative the only other thing that I could see could be a potential negative but not really because I haven't had any issues with it is the grip safety this could possibly be a negative but like I said I'm not gonna count it as one of my negatives because it I've had zero issues with it. A lot of the time when I shoot this, I don't even think about the grip safety. I don't even realize the grip safety is there. So some people are gonna call that a negative. I'm not gonna call that a negative. I'm gonna call that could potentially be a negative, but it's not a negative in this update. So those are the only two negatives, man. Maintenance, you have to take take care of it a little bit more, you have to maintain it a little bit more, um and, and take down. Maintenance and takedown, those are my two biggest negative that I will get from this. And like I said, it depends on how you look at it. I don't look at maintaining my, my, my firearm as a negative. You should maintain your firearms regardless if it's a Glock. You know what I'm saying? If you have a Glock and you bought it back in 2021 and you shot thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds on, on it and you haven't break it down and cleaned it, <sighs> I'm not saying you're wrong, but I'm just saying why would you run a gun for three years dirty especially if it's a carry gun a gun that you might depend your life on it your life might depend on that gun why would you just run it dirty and never ever clean it man so don't look at cleaning your guns or having to clean your guns as a negative look at it as just regular maintenance just like your car you're not going to run your car for three four years with the same oil in it and expect it to run it's going to break down just like a car these guns are just like a car you want to maintain them if you don't maintain them they're going to break down so just because your car can run four years with with the same oil you shouldn't do it just because you can doesn't mean that you should <laughs> you know what i'm saying just because you can run your car with four years straight without changing the oil that don't mean that you should you should change the oil every whatever hundred thousand whatever sixty thousand thirty thousand miles whatever every six months or eight months or whatever you should change your oil in your car just like you should break down and clean your guns every couple every i don't know man six eight months at least once a year you know what i'm saying if at least once a year break down your guns and do a real deep cleaning man like i said you don't have to do a super deep cleaning every single on a regular basis but every time i go to run in the range and i shoot this whatever i shoot 50 or 500 rounds or five well, i'm not gonna shoot 5,000 rounds in one day but if i shoot 50 or 500 rounds i'm gonna break it down and i'm just gonna do a quick cleaner man nothing crazy just real quick it takes me like maybe no more than 15 20 minutes max to clean my pistol so just take your time if you shoot your guns man if you if you if you use your guns for for duty if you use your guns for self-defense personal defense Take the time and clean and maintain your guns, man. Take your time because the last thing you want is that that one time that you actually need your gun in self-defense or, or to protect your life on duty or whatever. And the shit don't work because it's dirty, man. That That's a dumb problem or dumb situation to put yourself into when it can be avoided but anyways man thank you guys for tuning in make sure you guys like make sure you guys subscribe make sure you guys turn on the notification bell so you guys can notify every time we drop another banging video man but until next time man remember always be greater than you were yesterday we live to train because we train to live but the most important thing that you need to understand is you are your own first responder. Stas Sarsili's out.